Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. It's been a while since I've played, to be honest with you. It's been at least two weeks. I recorded a bunch of episodes before that percussion camp I talked about and uh... Oh, uh... For some reason I thought I was in Marymore. <laughs> yeah, see, that's how long it's been. Yeah, so... We talked to the Chancellor and everything and... Now, what we want to do is... I think we have to talk to Frog Fuchsius, but let me let me check real quick. Yeah, yeah, we gotta go to Frog Fuchsius. And yeah, to advance the plot, we need to go here and give him a quick chat. But wait till you see what he says. Wait till you see. You ready for this? I don't think you're ready for this. Hey, thank you. Yeah, it took a lot of work. Oh, wait, I didn't talk to the Chancellor? Oh, come on. Oh, a minute into the video and we wasted a lot of time already. A minute into the video. I I could be talking to the Chancellor right now if I just started the video. Oh, Mushroom Way, what am I doing? What am I doing? What? <laughs> it was... Bleh. God, I almost want to start the episode over, but whatever. Let's just get going, huh? Alright. Yeah, I'm in one piece. What of it? Princess. Yep, we're home. Saved your life. Yeah, let's go uh, talk to the Chancellor. Yep, yep. And if you're thinking you could follow Toad and jump up to the platform up there and get that treasure chest or whatever, you're sorely mistaken. There's no chance you can ever get that again, I promise. Chancellor, the princess, she's back! Oh my god, everybody goes crazy! Yeah, so the game's over here, right? No, I can't even play that one off that at this point. Nervous wreck, she's back! You were a nervous wreck, maybe. But even then, no, you weren't really. You were just kind of standing there. You're more of a nervous wreck when, uh... Uh, what was his name? Was here. Whatever. Yeah, a little help from Mario. Not too much. She kissed the enemy, you know. She kissed... Oh, she... She debated on kissing the enemy. If we would have gotten her stuff just a little bit too late, she would have kissed somebody else. <coughs> Got this drafty doorway. Yeah, what are we doing here? Got a whole throne room here to be in. Well, yeah. How can you trust Bowser? Trish was like, what? What? Bowser, what? <laughs> oh, God. What are you doing with... Uh, and he's confused. <laughs> he's turning his head over like a dog would. Huh? Whoa! Everybody goes crazy. Yeah, I've got it under control, guys. No worries. He's on a leash. He's on a leash. Yeah, tell us what's going on, Bows. Bigger fish to fry. If what gets out that your castle got stolen, it's not really. Well, I maybe it is. Well. A sword flew into your castle and threw you out of it. Like, literally, like, the... The sword falling into your castle flung you out of your castle. It's not really anything to be ashamed of, to be honest. Alright, set the stage for us, would you please? Okay, so Mario jumps up and is gone. <laughs> That's cool. So, Princess Mario and Bowser... Thrown in three different directions, something huge crashed in a star road. Oh, here's Bowser's place. I love that. Wait, wait for it. Oh, that's just so awesome. <laughs> oh, right into Bowser's keep. It could just be text, but they went that extra bit and made it hilarious. Okay, so some guy named Smithy. Did we even find that out yet? Is this the first we're hearing of Smithy? Uh, I don't know. I decided to take a vacation. You were thrown out of your castle. Don't even try this. Your house? 
Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Whatever. Yeah, <laughs> we know Bowser's stretching the truth a little. Yeah, because he's always been the funny guy in the past games. Wait. So, how about you? Why are you traveling with Mario? Mello. That's why. Oh yeah, find his real parents on the road together. Jesus, the long cutscene. Oh yeah, horrible, awful, dreadful. What about you, Gino? Oh, start the road, the road, the road. Star pieces? Yeah, the pieces of the star road. Whatever. No more dreams, sad. Oh, dreadful, awful, horrible. Isn't it? Yeah. I think so, Peach. For example, Bowser, blah, blah, blah. You would have never been rescued. Actually, that sounds pretty good. Let's just forget about these star things. In case you press keep goodbye, too. What? What? Huh? Nah. Totally mine, but I won't get my keep back. Unless Mario finds the stars, so if I want my keep back, I can get the stars, but. Huh? Run that past me again. Look at his face right now. Look at Bowser's face right now. Duh. And everyone just is like, duh. What a dumbass. <laughs> and he's still just sitting there. Duh. <laughs> God, that's, that's just hilarious. Alright, go find the star pieces. Princess, you can't do that. You don't even have armor. Sheer madness, you're a princess. What will people say? They'll be like, that princess is a badass. That's what I would say. Um, things seem hopeless, whatever, you're fine. Okay. Oh, she's gonna go lie in her room for a while. Good luck. Alright, thanks. <laughs> you should go back and rewind if you didn't see Mario's face right before she said stuff. It was pretty funny. Forever known as what? Wait, what? Smithy... Yeah, Smithy attacked the kingdom. Can't rejoice yet. Alright. I wonder if there's a day. They, like, make a day in commemoration for every time Mario saves Peach from Bowser. Or saves Peach in general. It'd be, like, every day of the year. Alright. Or maybe he does it on the same day just to make... Maybe it's, like, a holiday tradition. Oh. That makes sense. Holiday tradition. Alright, so at this point, in order to progress further, you have to talk to Frog Fuchsius. Wait. What? What? Get back in there! It's not safe out here. It is not safe. Take you along, but you're a princess. You can't do anything, can you? Uh. Okay, I guess so. Mmm. You're not much help yet. Times like these. Talk to Grandpa. Yep, yep, yep. And you have to talk to him. And it's funny. It's really funny. Toastu joins the party once again. Hoorah. Man, we have done jack in this episode. Let's see what this guy says. Avoid fighting pointy monsters on Star Hill. Quit talking about Star Hill. These spoilers. Spoilers. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I, I, honestly, you don't know what it is, except for a name yet. Actually, I'm betting the majority of people watching this, if not everyone, has played this game. Or at least knows what Star Hill is, so... Whatever, I'm not too worried about it. The one or two of you out there, it's not that big of a spoiler. Whatever. Check this out. Okay, so we gotta talk to him, right? Advancing the plot. Latest news, children. Large stars been sighted on Star Hill. What? Bam. That's all that we had to do here. That was it. That was it. <laughs> all that hype for nothing. Great. Great. I'm glad we could share that moment. Oh my god, it is nine minutes and... Here it is, Star Hill. Man, do I dare go on? Oh, I know if I start doing this, it's going to be a long episode. Uh, Alright, well, I'm going to enter at least. I'll show you what's going on here. 
So, we've got these flower things that open the doors. This one is to Star Hill. Yeah, we already talked to the flower. Don't worry about it. And this one goes back to the world map. It says Mary more, but it goes back to the world map. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I'm going to end the episode here. Eh, one extra video ain't going to hurt. Okay, so next time we'll explore Star Hill, and uh, it'll be a good time. So I'll see you then. See you guys.